And look, a lot of this demand growth that's coming, as, as you know, it, 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 it mostly originates with the electrification thematic, particularly the, uh, the, the, the growth of electric vehicles um, in key markets across China, Europe and the US. And really from there, you see this sort of pull through into demand for these metals uh, through the requirement to use these metals in battery chemistries, particularly in the development of cathodes, uh, which is sort of a core, core part of, of, of the batteries that will go into electric vehicles. And what we see when we look ahead is we know there's a you know, good sort of spectrum of battery technologies. There are some that are, um, you know, some would have heard of or this, or this, watching this would have heard of, you know, LFP, for example, and then the others would have heard of the alternate, which is the high nickel uh, battery cathode chemistries. Uh, but very much where you've got a need for energy density and performance in, in vehicles, uh, particularly as we see the growth ahead of us in, in, in developed markets, what we're looking at is a very significant demand growth profile for uh, battery chemistries that are very heavy in terms of both nickel content and where there's nickel is generally cobalt. Cobalt's a key ingredient in terms of providing thermal stability to battery technologies, which has really got a sort of a safety and performance um, role uh, in that as well. So when we look at ahead and we look at you know, credible third party analyst forecasts, what you generally see is uh, compound annual growth rates of nine or 10%. So really strong, strong demand outlook uh, if you, um, if you follow that, that, that the logic around electric vehicles in a way that's largely unprecedented in history and in, in that context, we want to become significant participants in nickel and cobalt, really to try and capture that exposure to, to that growth cycle for our investors.